in this lecture uh, we will discuss about the universal Turing machine and linear bound automata with some examples. We will see some examples of linear bound automata and what is the Turing machine first, then what is the linear bound automata. This linear bound accept uh, this context sensitive language is accepted by the linear bound automata. How this is accepted, we will check through that. So, now we have to come to the universal Turing machine or all of you know these tuples, seven tuples are there Turing machines. So, what is universal Turing machine? What is the universal Turing machines? So, this is a programmable machine which simulate other Turing machines. So, this uni uh, a universal Turing machine is a Turing machine that simulate arbitrarily Turing machine on arbitrarily input. The universal machine essentially achieved the by reading the both description of the machine to be simulated as well as the input to that machine from its one tape, so its own tape. So, this uh, main definition is programmable machine which simulate any other Turing machine. So, what is the meaning of this? If any universal, suppose we have, we have uh, some uh, Turing machine, Turing machine, suppose we have Turing machine M1, Turing machine M1, so this is a Turing machine, this is, so this is a Turing machine M1, suppose Turing machine M1, then Turing machine and string is W1. So, like that Turing machine, another Turing machine M, uh, this is uh, another Turing machine uh, M2 and string is W2, like that some uh, Turing machine it is given. So, what is the universal Turing machine is that universal Turing machine is a programmable machine which simulate any other Turing machines. So, all the Turing machine can be simulated by the universal Turing machine. So, universal Turing machine is like that, suppose M, W, this is a universal Turing machines. So, for this you have to, you can take here, means you can take here input as a uh, U, you can take as a M 1, W 1. Similarly, you can allow to take M, M2, W2. So, all the if it is a universal Turing machine, it can simulate, it can simulate all the Turing machines. So, you have to take the machine. So, all you can say this is a combination of all the machines, it is a programmable machine which simulate any other Turing machine, whatever other Turing machine that can be simulated by the universal Turing Turing machine on its own tape. Here is the M1 and W1 is the M1 is a Turing machine which simulate W1 and also that can be simulated by the universal Turing machine. So, U is the universal Turing machine, you can write universal Turing machine, UM is the universal Turing machine. So, here we have to know do not take uh, the uh, universal Turing machine, you have to take the machine with some input string machine, whatever Turing machine with input string. Similarly, this universal machine can simulate here machine 2 with W2. See, suppose some string is accepted by the Turing machine 2 and that can be, you have to take that machine and take the strings whatever accepted, that can be accepted by the universal Turing machine, universal Turing machine. So, next what is the linear bound automata, linear bound automata. So, this linear bound automata is nothing but it is a Turing machine. So, Turing machine already we know, sir so our uh, end position of when we will take the string on the tape and tape could be go to the finite, tape, tape uh, could be go to the infinite. So, here we have to what you have to do, we have to fix the end point of the tape then this is a linear bound automata. So, it could not be go to infinite, suppose here we can go to, suppose here a, st uh, a string is given, 
So, like that suppose A, B, A, B, suppose B, like that string is given and both side is blank is there in normal standard Turing machine. So, this uh, linear bound automata is a Turing machine. First of all, think that this is linear bound automata is a Turing machine, but this is a different kind of Turing machine. So, this in standard Turing machine, there is no tape limit. You can remove this blank as some input alphabet and goes to goes to infinite. But here, linear bound automata, we have to fix the both end. So, tape ends should be fixed by the bound. Bound means you have to, this one will be end of the, this one is the end, left end, left end and this one is the right end, right end, this one is the right end. So, whatever operation, whatever computing will be done in between left and right end. So, you could not, your tapes, in, you could not go to infinite. So, this is allowed only whatever left end, right end is there, you have to fix on that whatever all the computing will be done in between left end and right end. So, there is no infinite, there is no infinite position you can move to the tape like the uh, standard Turing machine. So, here Q is a finite state of states, tau is the same thing is the input alphabet, uh, tau is the uh, tape in alphabet and this is the sigma is the input alphabet and this is the Q0 initial state ML this is the ML is the left end marker and MR is the right end marker. This two is new, this two and del is the transition function same with Turing machine F is the final state. So, we mark the left end and right end. So, tape is fixed for you and we have to compute on that tape only. You cannot go to the take your tape to infinite. So, this is the linear bound automata. This linear bound automata, whatever we have, if some language is not context free, then the language is a context sensitive language. So, using pumping lama, we can prove a language is not context free. If it is not context free, that cannot be accepted by the push down automata. We have to go to the higher machine. Higher machine means that is the linear bound automata and you can go to the after linear bound automata, you have Turing machine like a recursive language, then recursive enumerable language, uh, the, these are be accepted by the uh, Turing machine, later we will check on. So, now you see you uh, we have a language is given and your Turing machine has fixed the tape and in between the tape, we have to compute. So, take a context sensitive language, how this is accepted by the linear bound automata, how this is accepted by the linear bound automata. So, let us take on context sensitive language. So, here uh, L is we can take already we have uh, done this one in class A n b to the power n c to the power n, n is greater than equal to 1. Suppose this is a context sensitive language, you can say here this is not a context free because at a time two comparison. A is comparison with B and A is simultaneously comparison with C. So, this which is a not context free language, we can prove it by using pumping lama. So, now we have to go for the higher uh, uh, machine that is linear bound automata, linear bound automata. So, here we know already linear bound automata that is a Turing machine. So, you have to dike this Q0 and this is what you have to do? This is A and this is X and write. So, now this is a Q1. So, what you have to do for uh, X, uh, for uh, A, if first A you have of the uh, tape, you have to replace by X and move right. Then Q1, then Q1 is here for all A, you move right, right and keep as it is A, then Y, Y R, then B, B R, uh, B, this is Y R, B, Y R, this is B for at a time 1 A, 1 B, 1 C, you have to replace to X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. 
So, this is y, this is y r, then this is what you have to get here, this is after this you have to find here uh, b, b r and z, z r, then c, c to z and left, left move and suppose this is q 2 and this is q 3. So, you see what you, what, what you have to do here, suppose a 1, a is, a is replaced by x, a is replaced by b is replaced by y and c is replaced by z, c is replaced by z, you have to take this 3 a is replaced by b and c is uh, a is replaced by x b is replaced by y and c is replaced by z so it is this so now you have to uh, check it so q3 you have to make a loop here again you have to go to initial state first one a replaced by x 1 b replaced by uh, y, 1 c replaced by z, then after go back to, then after go back to initial state. So, now q 3, what you have to, when you will back to uh, a, what you have to get? So, here um, you will get here all a, a, a 2, a l, and b to b l and z to z l and c to uh, y to y to y to y l y l. So, when you will find here x and a b z y, when you will find here x then go to initial state, go to initial state x, then x, uh, this is right move, right move. Then after you have to here, this is y, y2, y, uh, y r, then this is y2, y r, then z2, z r, then this is q 4 and q 5 is final state. This is blank and blank r. This is the final state. So, we will check how this is, how this is accepted by the linear bound automata. How this is accepted? The, we have designed this Turing machine, then we have to prove it how this is a linear bound automata. Suppose take a string. 2 a 2 b 2 c. Let us take a string 2 a in tape we have 2 a 2 b 2 c 2 b 2 c. So, what will be there your tape is bound now you cannot move your this is the fix and this is the fix this is the left marker m l and this is the R L. So, mark M R, M R, this is M R, M R right. So, we fix this both end, we cannot move to that area. So, whatever computation will be done in between this only. So, now you check it when Q 0 A to X, then A will be replaced by the X. A will be replaced by the x. Now, this is x and this is a, then b, then b, c, then c, then blank. So, now q 1 point to a, clear. So, now q 1 is point to a, if a is there, just you have to move right, move right in q 1. So, what will be there? So, it will be, what will be there here? So, now you see, this is x and this is a and this is b and this is b and this is 
C and C like that C. So, now q 1 point to B, q 1 point to B. Now, if q 1 B is there, where you have to go? q 2 and this will be replaced by y and go to right, replaced by y and go to right. Now, you see this is x and this is a and this is b will be replaced to y and this is b and c, c. Now, this is uh, right, this is go to right. Now, q 3 will be point to q 3 will be point to this is why it is not working. Q 3, Q 3 point to B. So, Q 3 point to B. Now, you see if Q 3 point to uh, Q 2, this is Q 2, Q 2 point to B. Now, Q 2 point to B, Q 2 point to B, you see B is there, then move right, B will be remain same, then move right. So, what will be there? So, here you see here what will be there? This is A, then uh, sorry, this is X and this is A, this is Y and this is B and this is uh, C. Now, C will be Q uh, 2, now point C, Q 2 point to C this will be q 2, q 2 point c, q 2 point c. Now, q 2 point c, what will be there? If q 2 point c, then c will be replaced to z, then c will be replaced to z. You see here, what will be there? c will be replaced to z. So, now, this is x, this is a and this is y and this is b and this is C and this is Z or C. So, this is Z and this is C, Z, C. This one is uh, C will be replaced to now this Q 2 you have to left back. So, you want to replace Z, this Q 3 will be point to B. So, like that it will be left left it will come to the X. When it will be X again Q 0 we see here 1 a is replaced to x, 1 y is replaced to b and 1 c is replaced to 1 b is replaced to y and 1 c is replaced to z. So, similarly in q 3 you see a is left move, b is left move, z is left move, y is left move. So, left, left, left you can go to the x when in find in q 3 x you have to take a right turn. When you right turn, you will find here A. Again, A will be replaced by X, then B will be replaced by uh, Y, then C will be replaced by the Z. So, like that, it will be replaced uh, equal number of A, equal number of B, and equal number of C. So, uh, then you can compare that. So, after completion of all replacing X, Y, Z, then you see in Q3, you will be uh, Z, Z, Y, Y, you have to move left, uh, then when it will x, it will be go to q 0. If q 0, all a and b, all c are replaced by the x, y, z, so you could not find a, so what will be there? You must have to take a transition from q 0 to q 4, y to y r, y to y r. When y, if x is after, uh, a is not there, means you have only uh, y is there. After x, you have y. So, y, you have to take a transition to q4, then q4, blank, blank, right, q4, all y, z, there is a loop, then after when you will find the blank, string is accepted. So, means here we fix the, uh, fix the bound depth. So, we do not require to move left side infinite or right side infinite, it is, it will be fixed the both end. That is why this is a linear bound automata, this is a linear bound automata. So, now see, 
some question this question come in a net exam so here one question is given so we can see what would be the answer we can see what would be the answer so here is the four option is given so what would be the answer so we can check it you see here q0 you can draw the diagram this is q0 q0 you see here q0 all a this is a then q1 and this is a to right a a right if a is there from q0 read it and move right and b also if b is there from q1 q1 b b read and move right then after this is uh, q2 in q2 a is there then there is a loop a is there then a2 a r then this is q2 and see q2 uh, a is there okay a is there uh, then move right then q3 b is there uh, q3 there is a q0 q1 to q2 q1 to a and this is uh, q3 uh, this is a q a b uh, q2 r and this is a q3 this is a q2 this is a q2 and q2 b this is a q2 b2 and q3 this is a b b r b b r this is a b b r so it is my mistake this is q2 q2 b to q3 b r now q3 you can say this is a accepted state and you check it a b a star b so what is the accepted here a b a star b a b a star b is accepted now see q0 a is there and read a go to q1 and q1 b is there read b and go to q2 and move, move right and q2 a read and keep as it is as a and loop is there and b in q2 b is there and read the b and keep as it is and move to right then q3 so we can say this is the option c is the right answer so if you we'll assume this is q3 as a final state and q0 as a you see here it is written q3 as a final state and q0 as a initial state q3 as a final state so this is the option c is the right answer so it is given that linear bound automata what is the linear bound automata is a finite automata uh, turing machine push down automata and none of the mention so linear bound automata is which one so option you can say linear bound is it a finite automata no it is not a finite automata is it a push down automata no it is not push down automata because it is accept only contest uh, sensitive language that contains sensitive language cannot be accepted by the push down automata. So, here you can say this is a Turing machine is the right option. So, here you can say Turing machine, Turing machine is the right option. So, now we have, so see another questions. So, given a Turing, this one, so already we did this one, this is question number 3. So, L1 is a regular language, L2 is a contest free language. So, L1 union L2 can be accepted by. So, here you can say what is the right answer. So, is it deterministic automata? So, no, it is not a deter. What is the first you have to find? So, what is the L1 and union L2? So, already I discussed in this closure properties of contest free language, uh, L1 union L2, this is accepted, uh, this which language will be generated? This L1 is a regular language union L2. So, this is always higher language. If you take, this is a regular language and this is a contest free language. So, you can say, union of regular language union contest free language or regular language intersection contest free language will be always 
always higher always contest free always contest free language so if it is a contest free language then it is uh, it could not be uh, you see uh, it is is it accepted by deterministic finite automata no it is not accepted by the deterministic finite automata this because this is a contest free language is it accepted by the linear bound automata yes it is accepted by the linear bound automata but this is not why linear bound automata i i discussed that this automata linear bound automata will be accepted contest sensitive language but here contest sensitive is higher language this is the contest sensitive is higher language so this is the lba linear bound automata so this is a push down automata and this is a finite automata so if any language regular language is there that can be accepted by the finite automata that can be accepted by the push down automata that can be accepted by the linear bound automata so similarly if a contest free language is there that can be accepted by the push down automata and also that can be accepted by the linear bound automata so but if a contest sensitive language is there that cannot be accepted by push down automata or not uh, either push down automata or finite automata so if this is a venn diagram you can see that's why answer is the linear bound automata so regular language also accepted by the turing machine it is accepted by the finite automata it is accepted by the push down automata also it is accepted by the uh, accepted by the turing machine which is the higher machine that can be uh, computed all the language means turing machine is the higher machine that can be computed all the language like regular contest free and contest sensitive so all the language recursive recursive enumerable all language will be accepted by the uh, turing machine so these are the reference uh, books so uh, you can use any book like that uh, michael sipser or Huff, ullman hofkart so this is uh, i also discuss some mcq and this topic you will find the maximum number of uh, theory type of questions in gate exam and net exam so thank you so much